Hello, Internet, and welcome back to Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 3. I am Marshall Michael 126, and in the last episode, we did a bunch of missions for Luigi and Joey. And in today's episode, we are going to continue down said path. And, um, yes, if you're all wondering, uh, this is was recorded in advance because I will be out of town. By the time you're watching this video, I will be at Otakon 2013. And I don't know why I was going into that voice. But, um, yes, I'm very, I'm very excited for the convention. Oop. Hang on. All right, we're gonna hit the payroll van. It leaves the edge of Chinatown every day. Bullets won't even dent the van's armor, so get a car and ram it off the road. Now hit it hard, and the punk-ass security guard should bail. Then take it to the warehouse at the docks, and my guys are gonna take over from there. Now it won't be doing its rounds all day, so don't hang around. Okay, so I recommend getting a big vehicle for this. Bigger than the ambulance. So I'm actually going to show you where to get said vehicle. But anyway, the, um, what I was saying earlier, I'm going to Otakon, um, I got a video that's going to be shown there. A couple videos, actually, now that I think about it. Let's see, hold on. There's usually some big semis parked around here somewhere. Why don't I see them? It's probably because I, I may have passed them. I think there's one usually parked, like, right around here ah uh, whatever I'll just take uh, I'll take this triad van that will confuse them but yeah so if um if you're watching this video the day it's released and you're probably not at Oticon which is you know a shame because I was hoping I could I could meet some of my fans there you know all four of you <laughs> but uh, all right let's do this come on get out oh and then there's some old guy who's driving this van it's gonna be hard now that he's going through chinatown come on i know there's like a, a really nice i think there's a really nice weapon over in the playground over there oh no wait no i'm thinking a rampage my bad Yes, Rampage is started in this game. I really wish they were still in, like, San Andreas. That would have been great. Uh, but alas, they were not. Get out of the way, Ossifer. And now I got a two-star wanted level. Julie in my height. All right. Let's see how much I can... How much damage I can get by ramming this guy. Oh, God. You are just doing it to yourself now. Pull over! Just pull over! There you go. Come on. Don't kill me, bro! I needed that. There we go. Alright. Now I gotta take it to the lockup, but I highly recommend spraying it first. Because look at this, I got a three-star water level. Everybody wants to be dead. Although it is a bulletproof man. Hmm. But it's definitely not damage proof. Ah. I die. Ah. Uh. So basically, uh, in this game, we're going to start off with a maximum of four star wanted levels. We can't go any higher than that. And we get to the next island and we can get a five star wanted level. And then... We get to the last island, we can get a six star wanted level, which brings out the heavy artillery aka the military now uh one thing that um was is not in this game that they introduced in vice city is kind of a probationary period once you get the your car sprayed you got you can't do any crimes for a certain amount of time and then the police will leave you alone this one get it sprayed police are done you start for you start afresh kind of like um well kind of like 
how it was in the previous GTAs. Kind of like how it was and uh, how it is in Forgive and Forget for um, for Saints Row. Only, you know, it fixes your car too. Which I've already completely damaged. The front of at least. Let me go this way. So, yeah, I couldn't find any semis. Which is a tad bit of a disappointment. I, I, I guess I don't remember everything as much as I remember or thought I did or whatever. Shut up. I'm disoriented. I'm drunk. I've been drinking root beer all night, party. Sorry. Okay. The Kuruma. Kuruma. Yeah. Okay, let's see. What's this say? El burro wants to offer you an opportunity. And I don't know why I'm talking in this really bad accent. Accent there. Uh, I gotta go to Hepburn Heights if I want to do that. Yeah, I'll do that eventually. But right now, uh, it'll wait. Let's do another Joey mission. Joey mission. Cipriani chauffeur. Really sweet. She purrs. You know what I mean? Oh, here's the guy I was telling you about. I right, listen. This guy he ain't Italian, and he's no mechanic, but he could get things fixed. This is Pop's Capo, Tony Cipriani. Hey, I'm Tony Cipriani. Take him to Mama's restaurant at St. Mark's, all right. Now listen to me. I'm planning a job that needs a good driver, so drop by sometime later, okay? Okay, kid, drive me to the laundry in Chinatown first. I got a bit of business to take care of. Those washerwomen ain't been paying their protection money. And watch hey, the car until we just fix this junk heap. So no fancy crap, okay? <laughs> Uh, they, they knew GTA players can't drive. Alright, so, uh, we, we're introduced to the main character of, uh, Liberty City Stories. With a much better voice in this game, in my opinion. But, um... Whatever. So let's, let's go do the, uh, let, let's go do this mission here. Come on. Wait here. Keep the engine running. This ain't a social call. I'm stopping him! I wish I had a submachine gun. Getting them all in my bag. That could have gone better. Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. So, uh, what? I guess I just gotta drive you home now. I could have sworn there was more. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There is more in another mission. All right, whatever. So let's get to Tony's house. I love Tony. He's cool. Ah, da, da. Mafioso. The triads think they can mess with me. The triads. With me. Drop by later. Give them something to honor. Their own blood-stained clothes. The volume is leveled very poorly in the Steam version, it would seem. Mission pass, though. You know, if any of the cars are the same color right here, it's gotta be, it's gotta be this one right here, because these are always black. The Uzi is now available in stock at Ammunition. Woohoo! All right. So, uh, let's do another Joey mission, shall we? can't drive. Another skippable mission. Hey, hey! That's where you're going. Dead skunk in the trunk. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Alright, just the guy I need to talk to. Alright, there's a car stuffed with a stiff at the cafe near Callahan Point. One of the Ferrellis thought he was a wise guy, so he got what he had coming to him. Take the corpse to the crusher in Harwood, alright? Ferrellis. Sonny Ferrelli. <laughs> I don't know. Um, where am I going? Okay, this one. So, I mean, uh, I don't remember the um, other families really having that big a role in, uh, in this game. Excuse me, Shari. Whee! 
So let's see, where am I going? Oh, oh. Okay. Here we go. It's an ambush, by the way. How do I know? L look, there's there's one of them parked there, and then there's one parked over there. Normally, I blow them up, but I don't have any explosives on me, so I'm just gonna have to bear with this. It's the Ferrelli brothers! Take it to the crusher! Yes, sir! Invisible man in the sky, sir! So, um, I recommend, I mean, there there's definitely a short path, but I recommend taking, like, the long way around. Just because it's easier to navigate. Actually, you know what? I'm a crazy driver. Come on. Oh, oh, that's just perfect. All right, so... Okay. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, perfect. That made it easier. Okay, so uh, let's head towards the pain spray, because I'm going to need it. Driving's going to be hard, because they're really good at the pit maneuver. <laughs> but... Uh... You know what? Screw that. I, I, I think I can handle driving this car all the way to the Crusher. The Crusher isn't that far away. And they're gone. Okay. And we got a road closed here. Uh, I don't remember why. I know this was changed in, in uh, Liberty City Stories. Maybe it was just to have some kind of realistic... Oh, crap. 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 Okay, I'm good. So, I mean, the the idea of this mission is essentially to introduce the car crusher, which you can you can make some money out of, some really tedious money because this thing is slow as hell. Oh, and this game's got that whole access issue too, with the looking and stuff. Whatever. Come on. Yeah, really tedious. Really, really tedious. Well, you can make a good uh, couple thousand dollars for each car or something. I think it's a couple thousand, is it? Yeah, something like that. And then I got ten grand for this. Jo Joey's pretty pretty generous, giving out ten grand here and there for every mission, for every easy freaking mission that he does or he has for us. Excuse me. Okay. So let me just take that. No, oh, never mind. Okay. Oh, this is the eight ball sponsor. And then right here. Ooh, hidden package. Uh, you know, if I see any hidden packages, I'm just going to grab them. Maybe we'll get something cool out of it. Aside from, you know, a couple hundred bucks. But here's one of the sports cars in this game. You don't see them that often. But it's just nice. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Why don't we do Joey's final mission and then end the episode there? Yeah, that sounds like a plan to me. And then I'll probably record one more episode before I go to Otakon! Which, uh, you're seeing in the future, so you're talking to the past, which is really... I don't, I don't understand anything anymore! Type production stuff! Oh, you... Alright, fine. I'm fine, fine. Um... You know what? I'm gonna pause it right... Pause the video right here, and then, uh... I'll see you guys in about three in-game hours. Oh, new hidden package. Awesome. All right. Uh, and I'm also going to show you real quick. I'm ran, I ran completely out of sprint juice, but I'm going to show you real quick what the uh, the armor in this game looks like. Just give me one second. I remember when, when I had this, I didn't have a memory. There it is. Yep, it's just an icon. Just a stinking icon. All right. I will see you guys in about two in-game hours. Any more Secura cars you want cracked? Bring them to our garage in the Portland Harbor. So that's kind of like the whole uh, uh, car hunting thing that we did in Vice City, where we did for the Sunshine Autos. Anyway, we're back and uh, the getaway. What a ride she's gonna be, huh? All right, listen. Get some wheels to the safe house at St. Mark's and pick up a few friends of mine. They're hitting the bank and they need a driver. I gave my word that you were the man, so don't screw this up. Get them to the bank before five o'clock, not a minute after. Oh, 
<sighs> okay, so this is the closest thing we're gonna get to a bank job mission. So, uh, let's get a nice four-door sedan. Uh, cop car will usually do nicely. Let's see if I can steal one of these. Sometimes they're locked, sometimes they're not. Let's see. Oh, yay! And every time you step into a cop car, you get five shotgun rounds. And the shotgun if you don't have it. So let's just drive over there, maniacally. Uh, wait a minute, hold on, where are you guys? Where are you guys? Here they are, in here. Come on. One, two, three, yeah. I have a feeling this isn't gonna turn out too well. Bank on the make main drag. I don't I don't even remember the bank. It wasn't very memorable in this game. I'll be honest. Get out of the way! Squish! I warned you! I warned you! Alright, oh here it is. Very simple. Look, they even they got like a photograph in the window. Eh. That sounds exciting. That sounded pleasant. Somebody seems to be missing. I don't care. Okay. I think as long as one of them survives, we are all good. But, uh, three star one and level. Actually, that's not so bad. I'm, I'm used to three star one and levels now. Thank you, Vice City and San Andreas for giving me harder wanted level things. So, uh, oh wow, this was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Oh, uh, not. Okay, there we go. Oh, hello helicopter. I love the helicopters in this game. Shake the cops and lose a wanted level, you prick! Ah, oh, for God's sake. Come on, let's find another. Uh, get out, everyone out, everyone out. We gotta get a new car, and gotta get clear. Is this, no, this isn't four doors. Well, if I can get one of them in, we're good. Okay, okay. Only one matters. Only one. So, yeah, pain and spray is right here. Get out of the way, get out of the way. Oh, I gotta go back for the other one, it would seem. Well, that's fine. Not a problem. Ooh. New engine and paint job. The cops won't recognize you. Uh, if you say so. I gotta go back for this guy, it would seem. Oops. What's up, man? You look like you're just kind of wandering around. Oh, here we go. Here's a, a vehicle with four doors. Everyone in. Get in. Get in, you lazy mofo! Hurry! Oh, look, there's the, uh, the Diablos? Yeah, the Diablos. Oh, they're not the, they're not that intimidating, I don't think. Anyway, so we lost one guy. Whatever. Now we got two more. And let's see, do we, we get a lot of money for a bank heist mission thing? Not really. Just double what we got before. Anyway, guys, I've gone a little bit over time here. So uh, I will see you all in the next video whenever that may be.